Hello all and welcome to the paper pad. What you're seeing on camera is a letter that my friend and pen pal sent me. This artwork was just so gorgeous that I had to show it on camera. So in this video I'm going to be responding to her letter. Look at that. It's just so beautiful. She is such a fantastic artist. And my voiceover got cut off because my phone battery is low. Okay, so in this video, this is the book. It's called For the Love of Paper, and I was so happy when I found this because if you watch a lot of other snail mailers, a lot of the bigger snail mail YouTube channels, most of them use this brand. It's called Flow. I think it's like a magazine subscription, but they also have books like this. It's called, what is that called? like the flow book for paper lovers. Anyways, I've seen all of my favorite YouTubers use one of those, so I wanted to get one, but it's like a Dutch brand, so shipping to the US is crazy. So I looked for an American brand, and here I found one, and I absolutely love this book. I will link it for you in the description below if you're interested. What I love about this is that it has so many different craft ideas, and I don't actually need to pull out any other stationery. So in this video, I actually challenged myself to only use what I could get out of this book to make my reply for my pen pal. I am not sponsored by this company or this brand. I just wanted to let you know if there are any other American crafters out there who have had their eye on the flow books, this is an American brand. So there you go. It's fantastic. I was so happy. Anyway, the reason why I'm challenging myself to just use this is a actually pull it out and use it because it's so pretty I want to just stare at it and so I made myself pull paper pull the pages out and use them and B I was having a really rough day I had a bunch of schoolwork to do because I'm in high school if you guys did not know that and I did not know it but I was actually getting sick too so I've had a cold for the past few days which has not been fun so I'm sorry if you can hear that in my voice but that happened so I wanted to keep things really simple but I really wanted to craft too and to make a reply for my pen pal. And this was like the perfect solution. And it's also a fun challenge in the process. So there you go, that's a bunch of background. Also, if you see this mark on my hand, it's like by my thumb, it's a burn because for Halloween, I was Peggy Carter. So I had to do the 40s curls and I laid my thumb right across the curling iron it didn't even hurt because everything was just in shock, but I have this awful burn mark on my thumb now, so sorry about that. <laughs> that really stunk. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do with all of my goodies, so I thought that I would start with my letter and figure out how many pages it took up. That way I can see how much paper I have to use for the other projects. This envelope, of course, is from the For the Love of Paper book. It has different pages with the stencil or the cutout of an envelope, that way you can cut them out or you can use them as regular paper and just cover up that side. But anyways, if you did cut it out and use it as an envelope, it gives you the fold lines and everything, so it's super easy. This mail is actually really small, or at least small compared to my other mails, which was super fun because it was super cute and just I loved holding the little envelope.
I decided that I was going to start with a question and answer book because my pen pal did send me a mail tag, so obviously I wanted to respond to those questions and I wanted to send her a few more back. So I was going to make a little book and I was going to use the postcard as the cover and it is just stuck on with, with washi tape so she can peel off and reuse it and send you to another pen pal. If you're interested in getting the, well, I was about to say the flow book, um, the For the Love of Paper book, or if you just want to see me do a flip through of it, that way you understand what it is better, leave a comment down below and I would be happy to do that for you guys. There are also some other editions, so if you wanted me to maybe do a flip through of those, I got this one actually because it didn't have a whole lot of pictures of the others, so I wasn't sure what I was getting. I think it's a bit hard to see on camera and with the lighting and all, but this is some graph paper that actually came out of the book as well that I'm gluing down to write my questions and my answers on because the pattern was slightly busy so I didn't think that it would come up really well. So I glued this in. I did fix the wrinkles on the right side so don't worry about that. What I did here was I made some doodles for my pen pal, that way she can use them as stickers and I'm cutting them out. I just drew on some white cardstock. This was scrap paper I had left over from the question and answer book. It has instructions on how to make a paper airplane, but I wasn't going to do that. I'm folding it into an envelope, so if you want me to make a tutorial on different ways to make an envelope, I would be perfectly happy to do that. There are also plenty of other videos on YouTube, so if you wanted to check those out as well.
So, obviously, it's getting a bit later in the evening, so my shadow is showing. I really have to craft later during the day. I try to start earlier, that way you have good lighting, but I can't really help it. And so, you're just going to have a bit of poor lighting for a little bit. This is some extra graph paper that I have left over, again, from the question and answer book that I glued down, that way I could write a label. I'm going to stuff this envelope with all the doodles that I made. I ended up saving that peacock because it was too big to go in the envelope for one, and I also use it as decoration throughout the pen pal letter, that way it brings everything together a bit better. This little tag that I pulled out of the book and I'm using it as a washi tape sample. So I'm just taking some washi tape that I want to get to my pen pal and wrapping it around about 10 times. I think one ended up being like 11 times. Now it's time to pack the mail. Everything is done. So I have my letter, I have my question and answer book, I have the doodles and the little envelope and a washi tape sample. And it's all going in this tiny envelope, which is super fun, like I said. Thanks for watching. Oh, I also have that coloring page that I pulled out and I pulled it up and I am putting that in there too. So thanks for watching till the end. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part was and what you think was most interesting about this video. This is Hannah signing off.